46-year-old Stefano Konia is sculpting a piece of wood in a cozy workshop he shares with his father, Stefano Konia Sr., a Hungarian artisan who migrated to Cremonia to study at the International School of Violin Making with the famous teacher, Giobata Marassi. Stefano Jr. says the process and materials he and his father use are time-honored. The special characteristics of the violin built in Cremona is that it follows the Cremonese tradition, which is the one on which we base our work, the one that was created by Stradivari and by the families of Amati and Guarneri. We use the same type of processing. The feature that makes us unique is that we work everything by hand. We also follow the same kind of tradition of materials. Cremonese artisans use spruce wood for a superior sound, while maple, sourced from the dense Balkan forest from Romania to Slovenia, is used to craft the most important part of the violin. The first important phase is the construction of the bands, which are the central part of the instrument, the part that gives the thickness. After building the bands, you can do the outline of the table and the bottom. Once the external parts of the violin are finished and the remaining parts of the case are built and glued together, with the head and blooms added, the most time-consuming part of the work begins. Una volta che è pronta la testa con la tastiera. Painting requires a month of work because we give a hand a day for 30 days, so there are 30 hands. The thickness of paint will be a tenth and a half, two tenths at the most. After, it will proceed to the final setting by putting the sole, the accessories, the ropes, and the bridge. In the olden days, it was common for luthiers to use the intestines of sheep to produce strings. But this, like many elements of the craft, is changing. The gut string has the drawback that with humidity, warmth, and seasonal changes, it does not hold the tuning. It can be lengthened and narrowed depending on the humidity. Of course, those cords are very well done. Today, the ropes are not only in gut or steel, but also synthetic. Today, at least 150 ateliers are keeping the city's tradition alive. Visitors can experience some of the earliest pieces at a special museum near the Palazzo Mina Bolzesi. <music> Albeit originally from Hungary, the Konia family are adding their own thumbprint to the Cremonese legacy. La tradizione liutaria è un po' In the violin making of Cremona, there are several families of violin makers for three generations, as in our case. We hope that the fourth generation, the children of my son, will continue. Now they are still too young, but you never know. Continueranno, adesso sono ancora troppo piccoli, però non si sa mai.